Hello everybody, so this is going to be a video that's going to go over the instructions for the capstone project. So first thing we're going to do is going to open up those instructions by going to my website. So we're going to go to the website um, right here. So here's the website. Here are all the different videos that you can see to help you get this project done. But the first one is, are the instructions. You click on it and you open the instructions. So what are we doing? We're doing a Wii Video 1920s Capstone PSA project. As we've talked about in class, every uh, student in U.S. history is doing this project. And you're doing Capstone projects in other years and other classes of your high school experience. So overview, we are using WeVideo or any other video editing pro, uh, program that you that you choose to create a PSA, public service announcement on a major topic of the 1920s. Um, your PSA will be about three minutes long, give or take 30 seconds. So it could be two minutes and 30 seconds all the way to 3.30, uh, three minutes and 30 seconds. And you're gonna be turning this in through a video link, most likely from YouTube, but it could also be from your Google Drive on eCadence. And for us, it is due on Friday, December 9th, at 11.59 p.m. and it is worth 500 points. So we broke it down in today's day one and two. A uh, student will complete this as classwork and homework. So I'm giving you a lot of time in class to work on this, but if you do some daydreaming, if you're not so efficient with your time, you might have to do some of this at home, but you should have enough time to get easily get the whole project done with the six days that we're working on it. So step A on, day, on the first two days will be to research your chosen topic of the 1920s. So when you conduct your research, if there's anything else that you want, would want to do, but that's not on this 10, please come and talk to me. You're looking for the who, what, where, why of your topic. So here are your topics. Um, anti-immigration. We talked about the 1920s was a lot of anti-immigrant feelings. This is when immigration laws got really strict when it came to immigrants. Flappers, the new modern woman of the 20s. The Harlem Renaissance, we didn't cover in this 1920s unit, but we will in the Civil Rights Unit. It's a, a like rebirth of uh, African-American culture in the city of Harlem in New York. All the new inventions and technology of the 1920s that made it more modern. The Jazz Age and how the music affected society. The rising again of the KKK, as we talked about with the movie Birth of a Nation. Mass production and advertising, two big things in the 1920s of that basically make our society look like today. Uh, prohibition. Now, when you see with prohibition, it has three different options on there. You could either do one of these options for your video, or you could just do it overall in prohibition using all three of these. Red Scare. You know, the, the fear of communism, you could use the Pomerade, Sacco and Vanzetti individually as one video for each one of them or all together. And then the Scopes trial of where did we come from? Uh, evolution or creationism. So that's part one, getting your topic, doing your research. Step two, or step B, is create your video introduction. So after choosing and researching your topic, now it's time to write your script. Uh, you're going to open up a Google Doc, you're going to label it a uh, written script for video introduction, and you're going to make sure that you go and make it anyone with the link. All right, so you got to make sure anyone with a link. And how do you do that? You can click on here. And when it opens up, you see it here says anyone with a link. Yours will say restricted. So you click on it and make it anyone with a link. And then you hit done. Um, your video introduction overall will be 30 to 45 seconds. So uh, you should be answering the following questions in terms of getting your video introduction done. You're, you should be putting your name, your topic. Why did you choose this topic? What is the definition summary significance of your topic? Basically, give a preview of what you will be discussing in the rest of your video. You're gonna submit the Google Doc uh, with your written script uh, for your video introduction. Again, you're gonna open up a Google Doc. You're gonna make it anyone with a link and it is due 11.59 on Tuesday through eCadence. And then you're gonna have to go and record your actual video introduction. There's a video on my website, you see here, and it shows you right here on this video, where's it at? Right here, start the project and video introduction. It tells you how to do that. And that must be completed by Tuesday as well. All right, next one is the last step that you're going to do for the, for the first two days is you're going to create an outline of the of your video. And what I mean by that is there are five components to your video. There's a video introduction, there's informational slides, there's a YouTube clip, uh, image analysis, and audio conclusion. And what you're doing is you're taking these five and you're telling me how much time are you going to devote to each one of them. This is an example here of what, could it, what it could look like. So I, it's divided into one, two, or three minutes. The first minute I say my video introduction should be 35 seconds. Then slide one of information, 12 seconds on that. Slide two information, 13 seconds. Then I got my video clip from YouTube. That's going to be 45 seconds. Then my slide three of information will be 15 seconds. Um, then I'm going to do an image analysis for 20 seconds. 
Then my last slide of information of my fourth slide will be 10 seconds. And then my audio conclusion will be 30 seconds. And it's basically giving you a rough estimate of what each part of your uh, project is going to look like. And that way, when you start working on it, you can see. Now, if you create this, uh, by the way, this is due by the end of Tuesday, the end of the second day. Uh, and blank copies will be given to you in class. But if for some reason you lose it, you go back to my website and right here, Capstone 1920s blank outline, you click on it and you could go ahead and print this out. And there's an example of it right there. Um, so again, that's due on Tuesday. And again, it's just a rough estimate. So if you end up putting 35 seconds for your introduction, but you go 44 seconds, it's okay. It's just a rough, rough estimate. Ultimately, your video has to be within two minutes and 30 seconds to three minutes and 30 seconds. So if you go over a few seconds, it's not a big deal. All right, let's move on to day three and four. Student, again, will complete for classwork or homework. It's up to you. Uh, step A of these next two days will be to create your informational slides of your topic. There should be four to five slides of information. So that means that, and if you look again on my website, there's another tutorial video that shows you how to do the info slides and then the, how to add the YouTube video as well. So you're going to open up this Google uh, doc that I created. And when you open it, you're going to go ahead and make a copy of it. All right. And when you make a copy of it, you're going to label it. I told you here, your first name, last name, period, and then dash PSA information for slides. Once you make your copy of this, now you will be putting in the information that you're going to put on your first slide, second slide, third slide, fourth slide, and so on. So they need to do four or five slides. This information is basically telling the people watching your, your video presentation, you know, the information they need to understand what you're talking about. Um, the example videos that I've created will kind of shape, give you an idea of what I mean by that. But this uh, informational slide is due through eCadence by on Thursday, 12-1. December 1st by 11.59. So each slide information, you will need to add an audio recording of you presenting the information. So the slide will have the information written out and an audio recording will be under it, basically you explaining what you typed in the text box, the informational slide in your own words. And I'll show you how to do that again in the video that uh, right here. So on image and out, I'm sorry, on the info slides and YouTube video. All right, let's move on to step B. And here are some questions for step A for the, the slides of, you know, what was your topic about and why is it important? When was there, where, when and where did it take place? Who was involved in your topic? What was the cause and effect of your topic? All these are questions that you can answer into your slides. Uh, and again, these slides will be used in the recording of your body for your PSA. Step B for the second two days, three days, three and four, I'm sorry, is to add a YouTube clip. That reinforces your topic. Your video clip should be around 30 to 60 seconds long. Your YouTube clip should reinforce the main points that you have already introduced in your video introduction and slides. The video clip should demonstrate at least one of the key points you have already presented. The video itself should be trimmed so you have the specific part of the YouTube video, not the entire YouTube video. So if you download a YouTube video and it's three minutes, but you only need 38 seconds, then you need to be able to trim that three minutes into 38 seconds. Um, and again, there's going to be a video here or right here, the same one that's going to show you how to do that. Um, and let's go back here that to download your video, you will need to either use a video downloading program or you need to do screen recording on your phone. And we'll talk about more of that on another video. All right. Next two days, five and six, uh, student, once again, complete ask classwork or homework. You, here's where you're going to start working on in, your image analysis. You will add a significant, significant image that represents your topic and do an image analysis. Um, an image analysis is when you describe the main points of an image and why they are important, especially to your project. You will need to add audio recording of you doing the image analysis as the image is playing on your video. So you're going to upload the image that you think is important, and then you're going to record yourself in audio um, basically analyzing the image. This image analysis should be between 20 and 30 seconds long. And if we go back to the videos, here's another video on how to do image analysis and then the audio conclusion. So the image analysis, again, 20 to 30 seconds long, the image is there, significant image, and then you recording yourself doing the analysis. Step B on days five and six will be to complete an audio conclusion. Audio conclusion should end your video project with some key details to wrap up your presentation and provide possible call to action to connect to current issues in society. The audio recording should be between 25 and 40 seconds 
and restate all the main ideas of the PSA. Your audio conclusion should be accompanied by images that represent your topic. And again, in the how-to videos, I'll show you what I mean by that. Don't forget to use academic, the academic language, not only in your audio conclusion, but in your video introduction as well. Um, and now you could record your audio conclusion to your PSA. Step C on day five and six is gonna to be to complete and download your Google uh, your project to your Google Drive uh, or download it to your computer and then upload it to YouTube. Ultimately, you need to have a link where I could click on that takes me to your video, either because you complete it and download it to your Google Drive and then you provide me the link there or you download the, the video from WeVideo to your computer and then upload it to YouTube. And in another video, I will show you how to do that as well. Once the video is fully edited and finished, you are now ready to download it to your Google Drive and get a link to submit on eCadence by, again, 11.59 on Friday, December 9th. Or if you don't want to download it to Google Drive, you could download the video to your desktop and then upload it to YouTube. And then you have a YouTube link that you could upload to eCadence. Either way, it's due. Whichever link you put in there, either through YouTube link or through Google Drive link, it's due by 11.59 on Friday. Um, step D of day five and six will be to complete a, a reflection of the capstone project. This is a required reflection. So you're gonna open up this link here and it's gonna open up a copy of what they want you to fill out for this project. Remember this project is mandated by the district and by the school. So you're gonna make a copy of it um, and you're going to label it first name, last name, period, slash 1920s capstone project reflection, and then you're going to proceed to fill it out. And then that will be submitted to your eCadence portfolio, and I'll let you know how to do that later. All right. Thank you. If you have any questions, please let me know.